Lawrence slipping as he sets up and now delivers the end zone. And it's caught by Justin Ross. Tight end Cowley's back there with Perkins. Who fires? It is caught from there. Touchdown, Dubois. Congratulations to uh, Virginia and Bronco and what they've done. Um, what a remarkable job uh, he's done uh, with that program and something that I definitely saw coming uh, a couple years ago. You know, you can just, as a coach, there's just certain things that you see and you have instincts on and, and um, just not surprised at all that uh, we're playing Virginia. Perkins will keep it and why not? Another first down and a huge hole up the middle. There goes Grace Perkins. Inside the 20, all the way, touchdown. Their quarterback is, is, I mean, he's he's a wild guy. He's a guy that, you know, you just, the, the crazier things get, the better he gets. You know, when things break down and it's it looks like a terrible play is about to happen, I mean, that's when he's at his best. A really good receiver group, make a lot of competitive plays. They really want to pass the ball to run it. You're not going to face any, any bad team from here on out. It's all championship games, so we're super excited for the competition that we're going to get to play and uh, just to be able to prove ourselves as a defense. So it's going to be a very, very big challenge for us uh, dealing with him, but uh, we're looking forward to it. Third and 21 from the end zone. Hooker. The ball came out. Virginia has it. Another reason why they're a championship team is their defense. Uh, really good. They're sixth in the country in sacks. I think they got 43 sacks. We got 35, uh, so they they get after the quarterback. They do a great job schematically. They've only had two teams out of 12 have over 400 yards of offense on them. I love, love, love challenge and doing hard stuff, and this is just the next thing for this program to take on. You're talking about a team that has won the national championship two of the last three years, um, 27, I think, straight wins. This is now uh, the pinnacle or one of the pinnacle programs in college football. And, and so as we're building, as we're ascending, as we're climbing, and as we're becoming, uh, man, that's where else would we rather be? Lawrence from the pocket, a deep ball to Higgins, he got it! Touchdown, Clemson has the lead! They throw the ball very well. Um, they do about everything really well. Um, but down the field, there's speed, there's athleticism, there's great ball skills for the receivers and a really good quarterback. So I think Again, in that regard, not just against us, I think anyone that would analyze it would say the, the downfield pass game has been in Clemson's favor probably for a couple of years. Third and 11, Newman looking to pass. He'll roll near side. Oh, there we go. That's Simmons, and he'll bring it down to the 13. You know, I really haven't seen a, a need develop. It looks to me like the, the understudies uh, that were the backups to those players a year ago, when you look statistically, um, and most teams can't score more or haven't scored more than 10 points, haven't reached 300 yards. It appears that they've just uh, picked up where they left off. Players are being groomed and taught even while they're not in prime time roles and so they're just waiting for their turn. And then Man, I mean, they're, they're just as big as they are fast. So, I mean, they cover ground fast and, and you know, recover, recovery speed. So things may seem open, but, you know, guys flying across the field and, and making plays on the ball. So. Um, you know, we got to be sharp about, you know, and I got to be sharp about, you know, ball placement and, and timing and everything like that to, um, you know, minimize the recovery speed and, and the opportunity for them to make the play. It's, it's, it's the hardest thing to do is to win again, uh, to win consistently. You know, I think it's just really hard to sustain over a long period of time. That's our, that's our greatest accomplishment is the consistency. What can we gain by doing? Um, and gaining by doing is the next step um, on the next stage, and they just keep getting bigger and better, which is great.